still handmade beauty products on Etsy hey guys welcome to this new video in today's video I'm going to show you how you can sell your own handmade products on this platform so let's get started by clicking on the sign in button to create a new account and if you already have an account just sign in with your account and if not just click on register to create your new account and then after creating your new account here this is your dashboard or the main page of the platform as you can see and here in your top right we have five buttons so I'm going to start with the favorites button where you find your favorite products or favorite stores and so on then we have your updates where you can check all of your updates then you have the shop manager and it's where we can create our product page and here we have the, the account button as you can see you have the purchases and the reviews messages special offers it's a registry account settings and sign out and also we have the basket button so here let's go to the shop manager and give it a few seconds to load and here I'm just going to go back to the shop preferences click on leave to show you how you can create or sell your own products from the beginning so just wait for it to load and here you will choose the first thing you will need to do is choose the language the country and the currency of your shop so I'm going to choose the United States dollars then click on save and continue to proceed to the next step which is choosing a name for your shop so I'm going to choose handmade beauty products as a name so let's type it in handmade beauty products and let's see if it fits our store or shop so as you can see it's more than 20 characters so I'm just going to remove products but it's already taken let's choose handmade beauty handmade beauty Morocco or let's choose handmade beauty by Bob and it's available then click on save and continue and just give it a few seconds to load and here we'll proceed to the next step which is create a listing so here we will need to add some photos and details about our item and also fill out what we can fit what we can for now and it will be able to edit this later so here let's start with the photos here you will need to add various pictures of your product so you will need a primary picture every angle every angle every angle and so on and so forth and here just follow these guidelines as you can see use up to 10 photos to show your items most important qualities and also you have tips use natural light and no flash include a common object for scale show the item being held worn or used shoot against a clean simple background add photos to your variations so buyers can see all their options so just follow all of these guidelines and your photos will be just fine then when you're done with your photos you will upload also a video so both the photos and the video are primary you need they are not optional they are primary you need to upload them or otherwise you won't be proceeding to the next step which is choosing how you will get paid 
So here you will need also to upload a video. Max file size is 100 megabytes. And also bring your product to life with 5 to 15 second video. It could help you drive more sales. The video won't feature sound, so let your product do the talking. Quick tips, also follow these tips. Film wearable items on a model or show a functional item being used. Adjust your settings to record high resolution video, aim for 1080p or higher. Crop your video after you upload it to get the right dimensions. And here you can just click on this link to learn how to make videos that sell. Then we have the listing details where you type the title of your product. So I'm just going to type handmade beauty product. Then you, you fill these informations about the listing. So first of all, you go with who made it. If it's you or a member of your shop, another company or person, as you can see. So let's go with I did. And then you answer what is it? A finished product, a supply or tool to make things. So let's go with a finished product. When did you make it? So here you choose the date where you, may, where you made your product. So let's go with 2020 to 2023. And then you go to the category, the item is handmade. So the category is optional. It's not, it's not primary to fill it. Then we have the renewal options. If you want to go with automatic or you want to go with manual. So in manual, you renew expired listings yourself. And in automatic, this listing will renew as it expires for United States dollar each time recommended. So just leave it in automatic. And then you choose the type of your product if it's a physical product or it's a digital product as you can see a tangible item that you will ship and a digital is obvious then here you type the description of your product start with a brief overview that describes your item's finest features shoppers will only see the first few lines of your description at first so make it count not sure what else to say shoppers also like hearing about your your process and the story behind the item so for the description guys you just need to go to chat gpt and take one of the type in something about your product and let it type your description and then you fill these other things as you can see they are optional also you choose your price domestic and global pricing choose the quantity skew and then if you if it's if it have variations you fill the variations personalization and the shipping and when you're done you click on save and continue and then you will proceed to the next step but for me i didn't fill my information as you can see so i can't proceed so that's it guys for today's video don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends